Are you on yet? No, I keep refreshing it, but nothing yet. Then why'd you call me? I thought maybe you got on. If I had got on, I would have called you. Oh, right. That would make sense. So, what's up? Oh, nothing much, man. What about you? <sighs> nothing. Just waiting for this page to load. Right. So, did you have anything important to say, or...? My parents went away for the weekend, and I was lonely, okay, Jim? This house creaks way too much. I think I'm in a sinkhole zone or something. I asked if you wanted to come over. I know, I know. I just thought being home alone would be more like how it is in the movies, you know? Like endless amounts of TV and junk food, but instead it's just... boring. Like, so boring. You can come over later if you want. Oh, really, dude? That would be so... wait. What? You're on with the bench. How may I be of service? Did you get on yet? No, not yet. I think I'm breaking the refresh button. Is Jim waiting to get on too? Yeah, he's... Uh, hold on, I'm getting another call. You're on with the bench. How may Did I... Did you just hang up on me? I said I got another call. Well, aren't you Mr. Popular now? Hold on, I'm getting another call. Oh, come on. Who even is it? It's Ryan. He's wondering if we got on the site. Why'd he only call you? B comes before J in the alphabet, man. I guess I came up in the contacts first. Oh, wait, hold on. Now I'm getting another call. Oh, ha, ha. It's Ryan. Ryan? I'll call you back. No, wait, wait! Alright, enough. It's getting too complicated. See? Isn't this much better? How's the site for you guys? There's still nothing. Same. T minus two minutes to ten. Oh god. Remember, only one of us needs to get on the site, and you can buy the tickets for the rest of us. We'll be fine. Right. We got this, guys. T minus one minute to ten. Mom's credit cards at the ready? Here we go, here we go. T minus thirty seconds to ten. What if our laptops freeze? Really? You bring this up now? Fifteen seconds. I just thought of it. What are the odds of all of ours freeze at the same it's time? It's ten! It's ten! Come on, come on, come on! Anyone in? No. Come on, come on! Please, please! Anyone in? Crap, my computer froze! Come on! Anyone in? My, my laptop froze! No! Come on, get back! Come on! Mine's still out! Come on, please! Jim, are you in? Not yet, not yet! Come back! Come back! Come on, Jim! Come on, Jim! It's still not! Mine's still out! Come on! It's still... Yes? Yes? Yes! Are you in? I'm in! It was insane! I was the only one who got in on time. Uh-huh. And Ryan and Benji's laptops froze at the same time. How insane is that? Uh-huh. And I read that the Comic-Con tickets this year sold out in two minutes. I, I must have been the last one to get one. Uh-huh. So, it's this Saturday. Uh-huh. And Benji's mom and dad are out of town. And Ryan's sister can't drive, so that's out. Uh-huh. So I was wondering... No way. Oh, please. No way. Absolutely not. But Mom said on Sharon's. Nope. And Dad said to ask you... Jim, if you're gonna talk to me, at least come in the same room as me. <sighs> Hello? Alright! Jeez. Listen to me. I have a packed day Saturday. I can't just squeeze you in. I'm going to Connor C's. Oh, Connor. Grad party, and then I have to go to Emma G's grad party and Benedict. So, you can't drive us? No, I cannot drive you. Paige! Why don't you just take the bus or something? The bus? Yeah, or the train, or you could probably walk. Walk? Have you seen us? Ryan barely passed Jim, and Benji tripped over his cat yesterday. You'll figure it out, or I guess he'll just have to stay home and watch a movie or something. Watch a movie? Watch a movie?! How could I stay home, knowing that Low Budget Man himself will be leading a panel? Ugh, not this again. What would you say if... 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 if Benadryl Cucumber was there autographing his new single? Exactly. You'll figure it out. Oh my god, I gotta go. Emma just posted something about Connor on her pin stuff. What? I know, right? Bye! What?
By my calculations, if we were to walk to Boston, it would take about four hours and 50 minutes. Oh, no, no, no. No, there's no way I'm walking to Boston. It must be like 500 miles or something. 14.3 miles. We'll never make it. Guys, I don't want to be that guy, but I, like, physically can't make it walking to Boston. Well, I don't see what the other option is. Because my sister doesn't have her license yet, and your sister... I don't even want to talk about my sister. And other than taking the bus... I am not taking the bus. The only other option is if we walk. This is insane. We're not going to walk five hours into Boston. Let's just take the bus. No way! Oh, come on! You have to pick one! No way are we taking the bus! I mean, that thing stops every five minutes, and we'll never make it in time. We'd only get there in time for, like, the Avengers panel or something. <sighs> <sighs> ah, the sellouts. Posers. Okay, I see your point. But taking the bus will still be faster than walking the whole way. No way. Yeah, it will. No, it won't! Yes, it will. Because we got on a bus traveling approximately... What are you doing? Mapping out the route. He's going all social network on you. I am not. What's that? Great movie. Terrible movie. Totally stole the idea from Tommy's performance in last year's Algebra Triathlon. Really? Yeah. A movie that came out eight years ago stole some middle schoolers lame trick during a math competition that was last year. Uh... You aren't using Sharpie on my window, right? No, it's an expo. You sure? Yeah. What kind of idiot do you think I am to use a permanent marker on your window? I'm not stupid. Okay, okay, calm down. I mean, how stupid would I have to be to pick up a Sharpie instead of an expo? They're two different shapes. Alright, we get it. Now where was I? Oh, right. We were to get on a bus traveling approximately 50 miles per hour through the 14.3 mile journey, just for about, let's say, six stops. We would get there in about one hour and 30 minutes. And how long did you say it takes to walk? Five hours. Sure, taking the bus makes sense, but I mean, walking might also still make sense. Oh my god! You are unreal! I'm going to kill you. I'm actually going to kill After you. After I did the whole window thing make and everything! Make me sick! I hate you! Uh... Alright! Okay, fine, 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 I get it. We can take the bus, okay? Thank god. I'll look up the bus schedule. Hey Ryan, what's your laptop password? Where is he? Shh. It's ten past eight. We all said we get here at eight. I got here at eight. You got here at eight, but now it's ten past eight and he still has- We'd eight. all wish we'd slept in all eight. Hey -o. What? That rhymed. God, where is he? The bus is going to be here any second. Maybe he overslept. Impossible! I called him four times this morning to make sure that he woke up. Granted, it went to voicemail each time, but still. He'll get here. Ugh, I'm so tired. When do your parents get back? Tomorrow. Apparently Foxwoods kept calling him asking him to stay another night. The casino? No. My dad has a cousin named Foxwoods. They come to visit him every year this time of year. Oh. Alright, where is he? He has to be at least on his way by now. It's... 8.15. The bus is going to be here in five minutes. I'll try calling him. Eh, yeah, that won't work. We'll just go to voicemail. Yeah, we're gonna hey, Jim. Yeah. Oh, we just wanted to know that you were on your way. No rush, though. Okay, a little bit of a rush. But, I mean, you get it. You get it. And, uh... Call me back when you get this message. Bye. He's on his way. Yeah, sure. Dunks, do you want anything? Yeah, where are you? Uh, Dunks? Who is it? It's Jim. He wants to know if I want anything from Dunks. Wait, why didn't he call me? 
B comes before R and the L. Just give me, give me the phone. No, I haven't decided what I want. Dude, where the hell are you? Dogs. Why is it so hard to understand about that? 17. There are three minutes until the bus comes and you're out getting coffee? What are you talking about? The bus isn't coming till 8.30. I said 8.20 about 30 times yesterday. 8.20, 8.20, 8.20. How could you possibly think it was 8.30? Why would it leave at 8.20? That's such a weird time. Every half hour or quarter hour. That makes much more sense. How close are you? I decided what I wanted. Tell me I want an ice vanilla latte. How close are you? Uh, literally around the corner. I'll be there in like 30 seconds. What was that? I think he just screamed. There's a dog's right around the corner. I think he might be there. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, why did God do this to me? What did you trip uh. on? We can still make the bus. Exact change or credit card. I thought we all agreed we'd pay an exact change or credit card so we could get on the bus quicker. This is exact change. Yeah, if you're paying for something in 1925. Just help me pick all this up. How much money even is this? brothers, even though his brother's in college, so I don't know if this makes any sense. They were in marching band together in high school, and she was a year younger. Oh, right, right. I totally forgot. Dude, chill out. We wouldn't even be in this situation if you could just figure out how to use a spreadsheet. What kind of 15-year-old uses Excel to make a travel plan? That's insane. It clearly said 820. Bus by 820. Born side by 930. Convention by 10. This was all laid out in a simple, pixelated graph sheet, and yet you couldn't grasp it. We still have time to kill, but instead, we're out here begging some stranger... Friend of Evan. ...to drive us. 
Look, I'm sorry, okay? How many times do I have to say it? That's the first, actually. Remember, I got the tickets. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't even be having this argument. Yeah. Yeah. So now we just need to focus on convincing... What's her name again? Jess. All right, Jen. We need to convince Jess. Jen. Jess, right. Well, if we can convince Jess to come with us, then we're golden. She just graduated from high school, so she's got nothing better to do. Plus, she thinks Chris Pratt is hot. Sell out. I mean, the Avengers aren't that bad. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, they're totally the worst. So? When's she coming out? She said she'd give us a signal and then we can walk in. Signal? What signal? She said we just know. Do you think she'll say yes? I... Oh. Hello? Come around back. Alone. So, do we go inside or what? Uh, she said I had to go in through the back. Whoa. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. We could probably just walk. So, what's up? Nothing much. How are you? I'm fine. You can relax, you know. Sorry about the whole secrecy thing, but this whole graduating thing has left me with a lot of free time. Want a snack? Oh, no. Mm. Take a seat. So, you guys are trying to see Star Wars or something? The low budget man panel at Comic Con. Right, right. I forgot you were into that. Which one is he again? Well, not to give too much away, but it's this fantastic story about a guy who fights crime without all of the unnecessary commercialism that befalls other crime fighters. His arch enemy is- Right, right, right. So you guys need to ride in or something? We were gonna take the bus, but there was a spreadsheet miscommunication. So if you could help us out, that'd be great. It's in Boston, right? I wouldn't mind going to the city, but unfortunately, I'm stuck babysitting my brother for the day. How old's your brother? 11. He can't stay home for a few hours? You don't know, Eli. I suppose... Yeah? I could bring him, but what do I get out of all of this? We could get you Chris Pratt's autograph. I don't care about crap like that. Oh. But Eli does. Awesome! We'll get him the autograph. Hmm. What is taking him so long? You don't think he's been kidnapped or something, right? I mean, I, I watched this episode of Law & Order where... God. Well, not this again. Why do you keep watching that show? You know it freaks you out. It's addictive. I'm sure he's fine. God, what is taking him so long? That's it. I'm going in. Well, wait, no. You can't just break into someone's house. Benji is totally getting law and order in there. We have to get him out. For the last time, that is just a TV show. Jim? Ryan? I thought that was you. No, no, no. Oh, is that Ricky? Tell me that's not Ricky. Maybe if we freeze, he won't see us. Hey guys, it's me, Ricky! <laughs> Maybe he just wanted to say hi. Maybe he doesn't want to come over here. Oh god, he's coming over here. Uh, maybe we could just run away. My grandpa's got a half paid for a condo in Tampa that we could crash at. 
Hey guys, did you not hear me or something? Uh, oh, yeah. I, I must have, must, must I guess not. we didn't yeah. hear you. Right on. What's up with you guys? I feel like I've never seen you since you switched seats in math. Yeah, that was a decision that was totally unrelated to you. Uh, Ricky, man, hey, it's just, why, wh what are you doing here in this neighborhood? My man Tommy C is sick, so I'm covering his paper route. Great man, great man. Awful paper boy, though. Always throwing papers at people's windows and stuff. Oh, yeah, because it's just, we never thought we'd ever run into you here. <laughs> yeah, small world, am I right? <laughs> anyway, are you guys going to Comic-Con? I heard it was, like, mad sold out. Well, actually, we... Oh, my God, you're going to Comic-Con. I can't believe you got tickets. Do you know a guy? I bet you know a guy. Who are you going to see? I bet you're seeing the Avengers. They're, like, the greatest team ever. Am I uh, right? <laughs> actually, we're seeing Low Budget Man. We're going to the panel with Low Budget Man. I don't know who that is. No, you know, like... Low Budget Man, Low Budget Man! No? Like, he's not a fast man, but he's a competent man? Nothing? <laughs> well, I better get back to, you know, handing out these papers. Goodbye. Bunch of weirdos. Man, what a weirdo. Pretend like he doesn't know who Low Budget Man is. Such a loser. Where's Benji already? It's been like 10 minutes. That's it. I'm going in. Shotgun! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I like the middle! Oh. Yo, boy! I can't wait! I love the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Iron Man, All Ant right, we get it. You're into the Avengers. I'm not just into, I'm the biggest fan. I, mean, I suppose Doctor Strange is okay. Not just okay. All right, all right, jeez, calm down. That's enough, Eli. So, it's convenient you guys have tickets too. Food. What? We need food. Pull over at this gas station. Look, Benji, this is insane. We've calculated this down to the exact minute. There's time, I promise. are paying, right? Of course. You and Eli stay here and we'll run in. I don't want anything. Yes, you do. Let's go. What is going on? I need to tell you guys something. Tell us how we're getting snacks we don't need. Clock is ticking. I can't believe you promised you get them in. How can we do that? It was the only way I could get her to drive. I had to promise not only to get Eli an autograph, but to let him sit at the Avengers panel. You can do a sold out Comic Con and having to sit through the worst panel too? We don't have to do it. What are you talking about? We could just play dumb when we get there. We could be like, oops, sorry, didn't realize, and then just run in. That's kind of dirty. I know, I know, but it's the only way we'll get there. How do we keep that snot nosed kid from asking about it though? We'll eat food. Listen to music, talk about anything else. Uh, I'd say we ditch this whole plan right now and just try to get, find another bus. No, no bus. I like Benji's idea. You just don't like riding the bus. Not true. I, I think this will work. In the end, we'll have the worst of it. We'll be stranded. At least I'll have a car to get back. See? Only hurting ourselves. I'm going on record saying that I do not like this idea. Noted. Now let's get some snacks fast.
Gee, Jess, thanks for helping me meet the Avengers. Yeah, well, you better remember it when Mom asks where I am tomorrow night. What's tomorrow night? Never mind. Just say that I'm at Mindy's watching The Bachelorette. Got oh, it? Okie dokie, artichokey. Got anything good? Burritos. Water, coke, iced tea. I didn't know what you guys liked. Iced tea's good. Coke! Oh man, he's gonna be such a spaz now. Ooh, I called the ox cord. I wanna show you guys a new playlist I made. Ugh, why is Spotify so laggy? What is your problem? Stop pulling on the cord. Hey, it's not my fault your car's audio is the worst. What is your deal? I, I just wanted to play some tunes. Okay, we'll try this again. But the next person who annoys me is out of this car! Okay. The budget man, the budget man, I love the budget man. He's the coolest super hero ever created. Yeah. The low budget man, the budget man, the budget man. Oh, I love that super hero so much, he's very cool. Yeah, the budget man, the budget man, I love the budget man. Jim, I swear if you play that song one more time, not only will I turn this car around, but I will make sure that the only low budget thing you get to see is the surgery it will take to get your phone out of your esophagus. Sorry. May 2018. I don't know anything about cars. What does that sticker mean? It's an inspection sticker. Oh. So you got it in May of 2018? No, numbskull. It expires in May. I have to get a new one. Oh. Do they give you a certain amount of time to get a new one? Yeah, you have until the end of the month. But it's June. No, it's... Oh, crap! Oh my god, we're going to jail! How could you not know the sticker was expired? I lost track of time with graduation and stuff. Jess, you need to slow down and pull over. Wait, no! We don't have that much time to get to the convention center. If we continue at our current velocity, we'll arrive at Comic-Con in T-minus 60 minutes. We'll still be early. So I'm not pulling over? No, I mean, yes, you have to pull over, or you will get pulled over. Jess, if you pull this car over, I will tell everyone that you and Benji are dating! You wouldn't dare, you jerk! Hey, I take offense to that being a bad thing. Oh crap. Miss, do you know why I pulled you over this afternoon? Hello, Officer... Mosta? It's Mustake. It's Russian. Right, Officer Mustake. I apologize for swerving in and out of the lanes. I know how reckless it was, and I promise never to do anything like that ever again. I'm going to need to see your license and registration. Well, you see, this is my mom's car, so I don't exactly know where the registration is. Or what it looks like. I'm gonna have to ask you to step out of the vehicle. Really? We're just kids! We don't know anything about expired inspection stickers! Please don't send us to jail! Jim! I'm sorry, I, I panicked because Benji panicked! Well, I'll be damned. Y'all Low Budget Man fans? Do you know Low Budget Man? Know him? Shoot, he's only my favorite superhero. Are you guys trying to go to the con? Yes, which is why we are in this predicament in the first place. If we were known we were breaking the law... <gasps> yes, the panel is at four. We've been trying to get there since eight. Can you help us? Well, I can't let you drive there in this car. 
but maybe I can do something. Oh. I was like for a bathroom from Chicago to pay for our milkshakes. What? It was nice of- Nope, nope, nope. What did I do? Oh, this is hopeless. This rate, we won't even make it in time for the poster signings. Why did you bring a little budget man poster to be signed? You should have brought an Avengers one. Uh, look, maybe we could still catch the panel if we hopped on the next bus on the way to Boston. I mean, the station shut down in town, but if we could find another- No! I mean, even accounting for additional stops and potential breakdowns, if we hopped on the next bus- No! No, 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 no! Whoa! What is your problem with the bus, man? I, I, nothing. I just... I, I can't. I won't. I, I, not again. I cannot. I can't. I just... Man, I leave you alone for two seconds. I can't. I won't. I cannot. Dude, calm down. Take a sip of your milkshake. I, I can't. I, I won't. I, I, I cannot. I, I... Push his milkshake closer. Dude. I don't think it's going to help. It's worth a shot. I won't. I will not. I won't. Yo, does someone have a bag or something? Why a bag? He's about to hyperventilate. I, I, I cannot, I... And we lost him. <sighs> All right. 2013. It was the first year Low Budget Man was coming to the panel. Paige and her friend, Connor. Agreed to come because that tall guy from the Avengers said he might be there. Which one is that? What? You said the tall guy from the Avengers. You're gonna need to be more specific. If it was 2013, it was probably Tom Hiddleston. Benji, if you don't cover your mouth... Oh, okay. I thought maybe it was... Shut up, everyone! I'm telling a story! Anyway, my parents weren't able to drive us, so we took... The bus. God, are we there yet? Man, this thing keeps stopping every five minutes. Hey, little man. I'm starving. Can I have a bite of your sandwich? Connor. Come on, man. It, it'll just be one bite. Low budget man, rule number one. Always be prepared. Connor. Jeez, Jimmy, just give him a bite. If you seem prepared, who should I? Oh, my God. It's just one bite, man. If you had only planned ahead, Connor. Hey. Hey, no way! Connor, look over there. That is the best Sherlock costume I have ever seen. He's got the pipe and everything. I didn't even know you could smoke on a bus. I don't think you can. Oh my god, he's so cool! I want a picture. Let's go get a picture. Hey, you can't leave me alone! Low budget man, rule number two! Never leave a buddy behind! What is this guy, the author of the Boy Scout code or something? You can't leave me be alone! Or, 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 I'll... Tell on you! I'll be back in like two seconds. Unaccompanied minor! Unaccompanied minor! Uh, okay. Can you stay with him while I get this picture? Uh, no way. He hates me. He doesn't hate you. Just takes a little while to warm up to some people. Some people? Can you please just sit with him? This will take two seconds, I swear. I... Unaccompanied minor! Right, all right, fine. <sighs> Who is this guy anyway? No budget man. Duh. Is he a superhero or something? Psh, superhero or something? He's way better than a superhero. Superheroes rely on arbitrary powers to fight crime. The low budget man, he can outsmart the bad guys. Oh, does he have super intelligence? No. Can he read people's minds? No. Can he see into the future? Now, why would he need to do that? Wait, but then what is he- Ugh, uh, you just don't get it. No, I guess I don't. Uh, I'm so hungry, I'm gonna pass out. Can I please, please, please have a bite of your sandwich? Low budget man, rule number three. Never- All right, all right. Enough with the rules. How about I trade you something for the sandwich? Like what? 
I could hoist you on my shoulders during the Avengers panel. No! I could pay you. No. I could... I could... I could get Low Budget Man to sign your poster. Interesting. Yeah, I could get him to sign your poster. You don't want to wait in that long line anyway. I'd even carry it for you. You don't want to be ferrying that thing around all day. No. No, I don't. What do you say? Trade? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, little man. You won't regret this. This is the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center. Next stop, Boston Harbor. This is us. Wait for me! Oh, that's awful. I'm really sorry, dude. Look, we don't have to take the bus if you don't want. Well... We don't have to. I mean, we kinda do, though. Not if it makes you uncomfortable, Jim. If we want to get there at all... We don't have to. Yes, we do. We can be late. Uh, no, we cannot. Yes, we can, Ryan. All right. Enough. Enough. You guys look like the Joker. It's freaking me out. Ow, oh, my teeth hurt. So let me get this straight. All this panic, all this extra planning, and convoluted travel plans was because you lost some poster five years ago? Some poster? It's OK. It's OK. She didn't mean Where's that bag? Look, my dad once ran over my phone with his car. Sure, I was mad, but that didn't mean that I stopped riding in my dad's car. So the poster's gone. You can't just avoid the MBTA. Your dad ran over your phone? The point is, you can't boycott a transportation system just because you lost something on it. They didn't just lose my poster. They lost a collector's item. And besides, they didn't just lose it. They refused to help me find it. After I found out that Connor had left it on the bus, I spent hours trying to talk to bus drivers, MBTA officials, guardians of the lost and found, but none of them could help me. They didn't just lose it. They made it disappear. And they even refused to comment when I reached out to them for my podcast. Podcast? It's called The Lost Dreams Diaries. You should actually check out his SoundCloud, it's pretty good. They refuse to help me. I'm never going on a bus again, and none of you can change my mind. Look, if we don't get on the bus, we're never gonna make it to Comic-Con. I respect a good grudge, but is it more important than meeting Low Budget Man? More important than being able to say you came face to face with your heroes? More important than the happiness of your friends who have spent hours, maybe even years, dreaming of this day? Yeah. I'm a Stoko with no. Alright, enough! Okay? You win! You win. You win. You win. <sighs> you win. Now all you gotta do is find a bus. Did somebody order seconds? I thought I'd have more time. He usually puts up more of a fight. Oh, I hate Google Maps walking over. When is the next bus coming? Uh, T minus 15 minutes, but I can't figure out where this next station is. Every time I turn around, it says it's in the opposite direction. Head north for 400 feet. No one knows where north is. Stop telling me to go north. Head east for 100 feet. <laughs> I think north is that way. No, it doesn't depend on wind, right? Well, it's right to me. It is very important to me that you understand this. Go 200 feet west. Rerouting. Rerouting. Head 200 feet east. I was just east! Rerouting. Rerouting. I'm standing still! How could you possibly be rerouting? Rerouting. Rerouting. Oh man, I think my straw has a hole in it. I mean, Ryan's probably gonna take a while. You have time to get another one. Smart. Smart. Tell me it's not. Tell me it's not. No way! Jim? 
Nowadays. Exactly. So, uh, who are we to stop you from performing your duty? I mean... Well, I'm not really denying anybody the news. It's already printed, and people usually just get it on their phone. Wait, what are you guys doing here? Weren't you trying to go to Comic-Con so you could see Budget Boy? Well, Budget Man. Hmm. I suspect that you would be on the road by now. Yeah, well, it's a work in progress with traffic and all that. What traffic? You're on foot. And the economy and the way that is. And oh god, don't even get me started on the economy. And the price of gas. It hasn't been the same since Reagan took office. What is going on? Anyway, we don't want to bore you with the details. Yeah, you have a civic duty to perform. And who are we to stop a man from performing his duty? Well, well, I never thought of it that way. Why would you? Who has time for thoughts when you have such an important job to do? I do! I do! Then do it! Onwards, man! I will! I will! See you guys later! Man, I need to get in shape. That was a close one. Rerouting, rerouting, take a right on Elm Street and walk for 100 feet. Destination will be on the oh. left. Let's go before that kid comes back. Check it out. Someone made the wrong flavor milkshake, so they gave me these two for free. Guys? Guys? tickets yet. No, it's not how this works. Wait, you guys don't have tickets? Of course, oh no, Benji said we could get tickets here. Oh man, I guess I messed up. No ticket, no entry. Can you guys let people with tickets through? Oh Barbara, darling, can't you just be a little patient? These children just want to get into the con. Oh, Thor, you truly are a hero. Mm. Wait, sir, please, you don't understand. We've gone through hell and high water to get here. Without our friends, we would still be stuck miles away without ever getting a chance to meet our heroes. In fact, just as the true hero today. So if you could just please make an exception. Nice try, but no. Okay, we tried. Bye guys, thanks for all your help. We'll never forget you. I can't believe it. We made it. Oh my god, is that Tommy the Toad from Adolescent Radioactive Samurai Reptiles? No, I think that's just a dude in some oversized backpack. Uh. Oh crap, T minus 10 minutes until the panel commences. Oh shoot. Where do we go? Do you see any LBM signs? Uh... Um... Excuse me, sir? Ma'am? Do you know where the low-budget panel is? Wow, okay. Not creepy at all. Thank... Oh. I wonder if just me and I are gonna ah! do it. Jeez, Benji! What? Is... You guys really freaked me out. You freaked us out.
But seriously, what do you think they're doing? What a bunch of jerks. What now? I can't believe they would do this to us. We could get lost. We could get hypothermia. We could die. After all we've done for them, Jim made me hold his hand on the stupid bus ride. Maybe he likes you. Please, who's just freaked out about that stupid poster? Oh, I don't get that. Why didn't he just go to the MBTA Lost and Found office? Everyone knows he can't just call them. Instead of making a podcast, he should have just taken the green line right to it. I can't believe he has a podcast. I feel like I definitely would have come across that by now. Honestly, last year I lost my keys on the T. Went down there with Mom and got them back immediately. I think Barbara still knows my name. Welcome to Nightville. My brother, my brother, and me. The Adventure Zone. It's not here. You know what? I bet it's still there. I only know of three people who would steal a low-budget man poster, and they're all in that building. Maybe Benji got the name wrong. I know what to do. Come on. Not you. You! Okay. I think... I think we're lost. Oh, why didn't that squid man give more specific instructions? That's it. I'm adding squid men to my list. Right between Connor and Captain America. This hallway is scarier than that theater camp I went to last summer. Should we turn back? How much time do we have? I don't know. I can't see my watch. It's too dark in here. Wait. I, I think I see something. <gasps> oh, right. I totally forgot. Our phones have flashlights. What can Apple do? Oh, thank God. It's this way. Guess I'll have to remember to take Squidman off my list. How is it even darker in here than in that stupid hallway? Uh, we have to be close. I can hear the moderator. They're starting. No, 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 no. Where is it? We have to find it. Ah, look, ah, I can't see the exit. I don't. I can't see the Wait. Exit. I, I see the light. You are all just as excited as I am. What is going on? This guy is. This guy is. Oh my God. What? 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 Oh, I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Man, those things are loud. What did you say? I said, stay close to me. These things can be confusing, and I don't want to be responsible for losing you. I'm not stupid. This is us, this is us, this is us. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation. I'm not running. Wait for me, wait for me. familiar. Isn't that... Nah. Miss, could you help us find... Yeah, those two as well. Get them out of here. Wait, no. Uh, wait, there's been a huge misunderstanding. We, we don't know him. Uh, yeah, we have no
never seen him before. Hey! Never seen him before in my entire life. Jim, Ryan, uh, Todd, do you know who he's talking to? Not a clue, Ryan. Rodsworth. <laughs> Wait, no, we'll be good. I swear we'll be good. Please, please, just give me one second, please, please. All right, thank you. Mr. Low Budget Man, Mr. Ted Johnson, Mr. Mr. A. We're so sorry to have interrupted your panel. That was not our intention. We just got a little lost backstage. <laughs> and of course, I'd like to sincerely apologize to my fellow fans. I have truly failed you today. You suck. Before you kick us out, you have to understand how much we love you. We spent 10 hours trying to get to this panel. We tried everything from trains and buses to brothers' friends' cars. There were so many times where I thought about giving up. In fact, if it weren't for me, we probably wouldn't be in this situation at all. You see, a few years ago, there was this poster Jim. and... Right. We've dreamed about this moment for months. We've dreamed, about me we've dreamed about meeting you for years. So please, don't kick us out. Or at least let Ryan and Benji stay. It was my fault, and I'm willing to take the fall for it. Yeah, that's gonna be a no for me. No! <sighs> I mean, it's kind of cool that we have our faces on the band while the connection center. It's almost like we're in a cool club. You didn't have to bite that security guard. Oh, come on! He activated my defense mechanism. Band for life. I can't believe it. Band for life. We can figure this out. They have our face on a wall. How are we possibly going to get back in? Oh, we could always go to another city's Comic Con. I mean, come on, we made it into Boston. What can't we do? Hey. Where did you guys go? Oh, here and there. How was the panel? Well, uh, we got so close to Low Budget Man. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, really, really <laughs> close. Oh, cool. What's that? Oh, this? It's just a little something I found lying around. Ah! Don't do that. Dude, we've discussed this. People are going to stare. We already got the guards watching us. Where did you find this? The MBTA is lost in the office. And Boy Boogie was cookies! Budget man rule number one, always be prepared. Thank you. Really, thank you guys for everything you've done. What is this supposed to look like anyway? Awesome! In his original 1998 costume. Beautiful, isn't it? You should get that frame. We don't want to check it down again. No, that can't be right. There's no way it's that far. According to my calculations, the distance between our town and New York City is 222 miles. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> but it's only 250 miles from Boston. Do you think that band for life thing is real? Or do you think we could sneak back into the Boston Comic Con? I think it's legit. The site even flagged my mom's credit card. Ugh. Fine. New York, here we come. Do you think Jess would be down for a NYC adventure? Doesn't she go to college in New Jersey now? Yeah. Ugh. New Jersey. What about Paige? Oh, absolutely not. It's graduation party season. I haven't seen her in weeks. Hmm. I mean, we could- No! I thought you'd gotten over this. Uh, just because I got my poster back doesn't mean I want to spend 15 hours on a bus. Wouldn't be 15 hours. Ugh, not this again. So if we take the bus into Boston, accounting for about, let's say, 15 stops... Uh, dude, the last time you did this, I spent two weeks trying to clear up the marker off the window. Oh, please. What are the odds of that happening twice? Can I continue? All right. I mean, how 
dumb do you guys think I am to... Oh, crap! No budget hand, no budget hand. I love no budget hand. He's the coolest superhero ever created. Yeah. No budget hand, no budget hand. I told you taking the bus would be easier. No, no buses. <laughs>